Hello and welcome back to this mission, the name of which temporarily escapes me. Uh, morbid curiosity, that's it. So, uh, I was definitely missing something in the library. I mean, I knew I was, I just didn't know what. And seeing as I wasn't able to get into the gallery, I decided to go and find out why. And the answer is yes, I do need to get into the crypt in order to gain access to part of the, part of the town behind the gallery. Which is, uh, you know, surprising construction of the town, but, you know, secret passages from the church to other parts of town for escape purposes, that's fine. Or the chapel, I suppose, it's not. Um, and there's the whole secret reliquary in the library that I was missing. And now I know where, despite thinking I had looked all over it, not finding anything, now I know what I was exactly I was ever looking. Halt. Be someone there? It seems nothing now. Did I close that door? How's the car upstairs? Okay. Don't let this guy get too far ahead because I need to circle around him. One of these apparently has what I'm missing. Or at least that's what the... Hmm. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. Uh, that's completely invisible until you walk right up to it. That's uh, very annoying. I wonder I couldn't see it. That all right. It gives us access to the secret reliquary. Saint Merrick's Hammer. And that will give us access to the crypt, I believe. What is this room? Brother Xander's Rosary. Brother Frick's Rosary. Communion Chalice of Brother Frick. Communion Chalice of Brother Xander. Scriptures of the Master Builder. Hmm. Are these stealable? Oh, I hear our friend in the library. Let's... Perhaps wait till he has left the library. Did something make a noise? That was lucky. I didn't notice the metal there. No, I don't think I can get at these. Eh, I probably don't need to. I do need to get back to the crypt. Can I close this again? Nope. I'm just going to have to wait for this guy one last time. And, um... Follow then follow him out of the library again. Well, I don't need to follow him, I just dodge straight out and... Alright. Has someone come? No, someone has gone. Although I might need to wait for him again. This, where's this guy? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No unnecessary hanging around for waiting for patrols there. Good. Alright, so now we have St. Mary's Hammer, we should be able to get into the secret tunnel in the crypt. Oh. What? There's two more locks now? I don't have any more keys. Like the hammer keys got chewed up by those things. What do I do here? Uh, 
I can hear horns. This is odd. Uh, well, that doesn't help me then. Oh, it opened up a different door as well. Okay. Good to know. Oh, two different doors. Uh, you know what? Hmm. They're just going round and round in circles, aren't they? Lots of water arrows. So using them. Ah, I see. So these are the brothers Frick and Frock, or whatever the names are. Sander's hammer. Sander and Frick, that's it. Alright. Which one's which? I don't know. Well, that one appears to be accepted there. And this opens another secret passage. Goes down, alright. Let's see where it goes to. Oh, I saw a ladder. I thought I was going to grab the ladder. I didn't realize it's underwater. Why are your eyes red? Oh, because they're valuable. That's, that's a good answer. 2031, so we're getting two thirds of the way to the loot goal. I was going to say we're getting there, but there's still a long way to go. This doesn't look very hammerite, you know, it's cooks. Rather pagan, to be honest. My breath back. Wow, all those little gems. There's only those, what, four I just picked up? They're 25 gold worth each. You know. A whole gem like that as the, is the entry price of the gallery. The gallery better have some amazing stuff in it. Oh. Also, this whole crypt place better have some amazing, uh... Well, I've got a breath potion, but I don't remember where or what hotkey it is, so let's... Try to avoid using it if I don't need to. But let's make sure I have it on... Let's eat the food. Get the food on my inventory. Uh, two breath potions, in fact. I guess this is why. Let's keep them handy. Only one way forward. Come on. Uh, how do I get out? No, forward. All right, here we are. Oh, uh, he doesn't look like somebody who would be happy to see me. And that's the end of the water passage. Ah, definitely something weird is going on here. Look at this old metal as well. So a part of this patrol isn't metal, that would be where I'd prefer to 
make my way out. Answers would appear to be no. Well, I guess I can always escape into the water. What am I going to do with this about this fellow? doesn't react to water arrows, okay. He reacts to killing me. He doesn't react to the sword either. I think I'm gonna die here. Alright. So, I need to sneak in to that room. Did that alert him? Yeah, that alerted him. That's not good. Well, I didn't alert him too much, okay. Still, enough. We could maybe get out that hole, that passageway as well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's just the way I was, okay. Be aware of the windows, don't let him see you through them. And be very quiet on this metal floor. Creep, creep. Garrett, pull out the bloody water arrow. Thank you. Just sitting there not doing anything for 10 minutes. There appears to be a massive leak in the main pipeline. I'll have to get down there soon to investigate. The leak stopped and water level is back to normal. No flooding has been reported. I've been hearing strange noises since the leak though, and I get the feeling something is watching me. Probably just rats. I'm so glad that tomorrow is my day off this month. Oh, poor fellow. He didn't have a key or anything on him, did he? Strikes me that I didn't actually check. Oh, he has holy water. I wonder if that's enough to banish this creature. But perhaps I don't even need to know the answer to that question. If I can get out this window, which is not guaranteed. But if I can... It's too small. Well, maybe I'll have to try the holy water then. Still got 15 water arrows. Still got a whole ton of them. And I might need the holy water for something else. Who knows? But this guy is deadly enough. So perhaps I shouldn't wait to find out. Definitely seems to react to it. Five, six, seven. Wow. Seven holy water. That's that's excessive. This leaves me with you know saying I had a lot. I'm down to seven water hours. And uh, oh, there is another way out. I mean, I could reload. Uh, 
Well, maybe I won't need. Maybe I won't need to. Because I could certainly manage to sneak back out here. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take a quick save here. I'm going to load the quick save. Just in case I need the water arrows later, I might, I'll make it so I can come back to undo that. Because that's seven water arrows. It's kind of excessive. Alright, then let's just load that. And continue on, presuming that I won't need them, and just continue on with the decision I made. Um, let's see where this takes me. Well, it's another house that I have not been in. Oh, is this the one? Is this this one? Ah, uh, the fishmongers. Oh, there's lots of doors that can't open. And a door that isn't never opens. And a uh, metal floor. Oh no, this is the power station. Okay, so this should be some way... So look... <laughs> The wood pattern there, I looked around and saw an eye in the wall and it freaked me out, but it's just the, uh, the knot in the wood. Um, right, so that's where, I, that's where I was climbing up with the rope arrow, but I was a canal. Oh, hello. That's, that's wood, is it not? Maybe there's something I can do up here. Maybe, except I can't actually stand on here properly. Which means I can't get in there. <sighs> nope, I'm meddling right over the edge of this thing and I'm too not high enough for me to stand. So I can't quite get up on top of the beam properly because I can't navigate. I wish. I wish. If I, if I mantle at an angle so that I finish the mantle on top of the beam, then it works. Otherwise, I'm stuck. It's just unnecessarily fiddly. Well, if I drop down here, I'm not getting back out, but uh, I guess I'm going forward. Or not. Oh, yes. Unnecessarily fiddly trying to even uh, get out the, back, the doorway, but never mind. Here we have the key. North Gatehouse Key. Alright, so that gets me to the canal there. And I guess it'll let me unlock the two doors in here. Uh, where's the other one? Down here. Right. Oh yeah, Station North. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So I can come back this way. Whenever I need to. Yeah, the power's messed up and the gate won't open. That's right. So this should get us to the galleries. This is the station's door, not the gallery's canal door. But we should be able to find our way to the gallery's canal door too, right? Gallery, deliveries only. Live deliveries or standard deliveries? Well, I'm, in, I'm alive. Which do I count as? Well, the live deliveries gate is probably not open. So let's go for standard. Hmm. Something else. Something went wrong here. Use the transceptor device to move live shipment shipments to designated exhibits. Remember to check the receivers first. The power station in the Fairport runs juice through a lot of old wiring into our district, and overload is possible. Oh. Well, there's another one of those spell circles that don't do anything. 
I wonder if they'll become relevant later, if they'll have to do some... Some kind of, uh... Is that the transceptor device? I don't know. If I'll have to do some kind of, uh, what's the word, exorcism sort of thing on there? I guess it will probably become relevant. Oh dear. So you're one of the ones who came in here looking for the way in, or what? Never made it out? Hmm. Well, I guess if I was hoping to, you know, play by ghost rules, I would not be able to. Actually, there's probably damage, but I don't mind. I earned this sword, as I got told before, so uh, I will use it. I never have any qualms about breaking down doors and things. Curator's office. Staff locker room. Curator's office seems like a very good place to start. Oh, something happened. Hmm. Seems like it went spooky. Hello, Dewdrop. Happy to see me? Is that a book readable? No. Well, there doesn't be anything for me to anything for me to read. No indication of what happened here. Locker rooms. More holy water. All right. Well, that's not. Probably not going to do me too much good because I don't have very many water arrows to spare. To Waitstaff, it has come to my attention that some of you have been getting tips in the form of tokens for the gallery tour. If this happens, please deposit the tokens in the control room upstairs by the gift shop and write your name in the register. I will sort it out from there. Uh, tokens for the gallery tour, right. Tokens in the control room by the gift shop. Well, it's upstairs too, which I'll find probably find as I go around anyway. Uh, I don't need to know about the power failure of mystery here because I'm here now. There wasn't anything else in these lockers, was there? Who brings holy water to work? Maybe somebody who had a suspicion of what was going to happen next. Employees only. I'm going to need a key for that, aren't I? Ah, oh, here is the entrance. Reminders front desk staff. Yes, I read that one. Front door control. Paying customers only. Oh, don't open it into your face, Garrett. Well, nothing in the safe. I would have hoped for a staff key or something here. I think I can hear a frog beast. So like I could open the front door if I could access that, but I can't without a key, and that needs a key. So didn't seem to be a key in the locker room. Maybe there's a key in here I missed. Perhaps Dewdrop, do you have a key for me? No? Why not? That's for not having a key for me. Um, well, how do I proceed from here? I can't open the front door and I can't get in the normal way. Because I don't have a key and there doesn't seem to be a way to find one. I can check these again. It's very, very clear there's no keys there. Not in that corner. How about on top? I don't think I can get on top. The roof is a little too high, but maybe I can look on top from on top of the basket. Nothing on top. I mean, I can break it down, but 
This feels like this should be a key. Although, wait. This mission was all about doors you couldn't break, wasn't it? So, I guess I'm getting on a key hunt. Is that actually... Is that alert anyone shouldn't have? I don't hear angry noises. Is there a key hiding in here that I didn't find? Barely any room. That's possible. The desk has odd physics there. Kind of falling into it. There wasn't a key hiding in here that I just like, I'm too blind to see, right? Oh. So, what am I missing? Where, what, what am I supposed to have found that I didn't find? You didn't have a key on you. You have a hammer. That doesn't do me any good. That's just the canal. Not hiding a key in here. Anything stupid like that. Wouldn't make any sense. Uh, well, this is annoying. It's not like a secret around this. Can't even frob it to spin it. Whatever that fancy thing on the wall is. Maybe, maybe that's hiding a secret and I need to search all the bookshelves, but uh, it doesn't really look like it. Uh, and there are bookshelves and I will search them. Ah oh, yes. All right, opens that. I think we found the curator. Doesn't have a key on him. It's a book. I made a deal for the famed Builder's Rattle with that Hammerite priest, Hammerite priest from Whitebridge. He spoke of getting their scriptures in trade, but he quickly forgot when I pushed some gold across the table. The artifact will be perfect with a perfect jewel to adorn the old quarter exhibit on the gallery tour. The transceptor malfunctioned today. Our newest shipment did not transept as expected. A nasty creature too. More than likely, the damn thing was disintegrated as the machine exploded with such force that it reduced poor Timmy to a mere stain on the wall. Otherwise, God knows where that monster may have wound up. Everything has gone haywire. The power is unstable, so the spell barriers are defunct in some exhibits. Now I am told that some of these monsters have been trying to break through the glass. I hope they will send help soon. A strange noise is coming near, and I have decided to remain here until it is safe. I think you're going to be remaining here for a little longer than that, man. You don't have anything on that shelf of yours, do you? Can't actually see. No. Nope. Yeah, you don't mind if I pick your safe, do you? Good, good. Oh, invisibility potion and some money. Nice, so what does this do? I still don't have a key, but maybe that opens the front gate. Why don't you... Stay in there. Our book is uh, invisible until you get right up to it. Well, I guess I know where it is. I can see it now. Oh, hello. What? Tears drop disappeared and left me a key. All right, front entrance control key. So what did that switch do then? Did that switch Spanish tears drop? Okay, so I can open the front entrance now. Can I open this door as well? Oh, it's opened. But maybe the switch was to open this door. Noisy floors. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. Oh, 
Wait, what? Mechanist security? And frog beasts? Oh, hello. Servants of the future. Oh, maybe, they, maybe they're just in an exhibit then. Domestics of the future. Why? You think barracks are going to be... To new servants. Is that a, oh, is that a mechanical barrack? This is the strangest thing. I feel like I probably don't need to creep too much around here, but um, well, these guys have hammers on their front, on their face. Look. For some reason, they make them remind me very strongly of the uh, System Shock 2 automatons, but maybe they are. I think it was reported that they were from the. Uh, in the demo files. Security of the future, yeah. Um, looks very Robocopish, doesn't it? I have 15 seconds to comply and leave the area. Alright. So I guess the eardrop is, is haunting this place. Upstairs, tokens for the gallery tour, but uh, as upstairs. Hide and seek, okay. And I can hear frog beasts, which makes me nervous because they can be quite deadly. Strange creatures, if some of them are in an exhibit, it's maybe okay. So they have not escaped. <coughs> what? People really pay money to see this stuff. What happened there? The evil eye. Don't worry, folks. It can't see you through the one-way protective glass. Okay. It can see me, and it kills me. Whoops. That didn't work. Uh, okay, so whatever the um, frog beast noises are, I don't need to worry about those, but I do need to worry about the evil eye. Oh, wait. Am I all the way back here? Yeah, I guess so. So the evil eye can see me. There's something locked up there. I think I'm going to have to deal with that evil eye. How evil is it? How deadly is it? It bleeds. I guess it can be killed. Aren't uh, they adorable? These little guys called Hobbs are industrious and resourceful and are often employed in the lace making trade. Alright. Wood sprites are found deep in the forest. See this stuff. Wood sprites are found deep in the forest are said to grant wishes. Alright, they've just made frog beast noises, okay. The Pygmalion, yeah, this famous sculpture is known to bring good luck. Oh I can't I can't pick the lock. Oh, but I can just take it. Well, that's valuable. 
Golden Fleece. Also valuable. When people pay money to see this stuff go, you should be glad because uh, they'll pay money to buy it off you and put it back on display. Alright. Oh, they're the, they're the guys making the uh, mechanical carriage noises. Alright, I can go upstairs, find the gallery tour token so I can go read about the great Grimaldi story and restrooms. Uh, the restrooms are closed. Sealed shut. The Grimaldi story. Grimaldi was a founding father of our town. Blah, blah, blah. He was an outstanding citizen. Blah, blah. And all his many achievements. Blah. Grimaldi was an accomplished artist whose many paintings are depicted throughout the gallery. It was for his love of art that this mansion was converted into the spectacle you see today. He was also a collector of the strange and unusual. The tour dives deep into the heart of the mansion's old oubliettes, now converted to an exhibit for the many monsters, mysteries, and treasures housed safely within. Some have claimed sensing a ghostly presence. Could it be the sage spirit of our dear Grimaldi? Or could it be a condemned prisoner who wasted away in a long-forgotten oubliette? We may never know. Alright. So they're upstairs. Haunted objects. Oh well. Yeah, haunted painting. Bye bye. The most haunted doll in known existence, Dewdrop, is said to be possessed by the murdered child of a pagan necromancer. Those who have owned this object have met with untimely and unnatural ends, thus adding to the lore that this child's plaything is cursed. Listen close, you can almost hear her song calling out for a new owner. Nice painting there. Yep, I see, right? Gift shop and sky pavilion. Well, the gift shop has the tokens for the tour, and I guess we're going to need some. Oh, hello, you drop. You having, you having fun? No painting upside down. What was this one? Haunted art. If the goal of art is to capture the soul of its subject, then this painting has surely achieved that. This exquisite canvas, titled The Unrequited Hand, is the work of an unknown artist. Although a protective spell keeps this masterpiece safely encased within the glass, please approach with caution. Yeah, hmm. Well, maybe it's just, you know, going to be a little creepy. Gallery tour, all right, we're gonna need the tokens. All right, yeah, you got me. Peekaboo. When all six statuettes on the gallery tour win all six statuettes on the gallery tour for your chance to win a big prize right here at the gift shop. Okay. Oh. Did he go away? Uncover the mysteries in the Keeper's Library. Explore the realms of the Lost City. Mines creatures of the underworlds. Take a leisurely boat ride through the Moor of Chaos. Hike the trails of the Pagan Forest and tour the haunted heart of the Old Quarter. And we got uh, lots of merchandise. I've had enough of this. Oh, it's Dewdrop. Oh, nice teeth you got there. Machine room. Gallery token. Well, there we are. 
And now I can do the gallery tour, I suppose. Yeah, employees only. I thought there was just two toilets, but no, just one. Oh. That looks bad. I mean, anything creepy and glowy and wandering around is probably not good for me. All right, six, six sections of the gallery tour then. This seems to me a really good place for another hard save. Things could go very wrong. I'm just kind of waiting for that glowy thing to come and go before I go in. Don't know if it can hear me, but I'm sure it could see me. Welcome to the Great Gallery Tour. Please step forward to begin your journey into the mysterious underworld. Is this a gallery or a theme park, you know? Cast off thy mortal coil for adventure. Um, yeah, I plan to visit the gift shop after the tour. I do plan to keep a hold on my mortal coil. Down we go. Nice quiet lift there. Begin the tour to the right. Welcome to the land of death. I am Hades, god of the underworld, and I will be your guide. Hmm. There are definitely... How much of this is? <laughs> are you a real zombie? Or a fake one for the show? Who can tell? Nothing in here? Well, keep admiring yourself in the in the toilet there. Or in the mirror, rather. Well It's very dark. I am somewhat regretting the profligate use of uh water arrows now because I've got seven left. It's just not... Oh, I do have lots of fire arrows. So I suppose that's... something. It sounds like this one... There's a... People getting it... Zombies getting annoyed at something, but what? Maybe it's just, maybe it's just noises. Maybe there's piped in sound effects. In addition to an actual zombie wandering. Sounds like I'm hearing combat. Zombie pit. Ah. Maybe I am hearing combat in the zombie pit. Oh yeah. Hmm. 
Get a closer look. I'll give you a closer look. Well, he seems to want to get me. Oh, that was a waste, wasn't it? Let's hope I don't regret the waste. Feeding times at four bells and six bells. If you will keep zombies for the entertainment of your visitors, then you probably deserve what you get. Skeletal Hollands are the most aggressive of the undead. They are motivated only by a pure desire to kill. They will even fight one another, as you'll see in the exhibit to your left. Oh, they want to fight me, do they? I guess if I'm not, not there, then they'll happily fight each other. Oh, he's fighting a zombie and it's not really working out in his favour. Where does this take me? Uh, nowhere, it's just a dead end. I suppose there's a nice hidey cubby hole to, to escape from creatures in, so I should keep aware of that. Some phantoms are completely docile and are known to wield powers of transception, the ability to move persons or objects. Others, like the so-called tormentor to your right, are the most vicious and bloodthirsty of all. Oh, like you. Uh, that was... That was close. Let's uh, hope I can dispatch him. Good. Just leaving him wandering around is not my idea of a good time. Oh, nice. Your uh, floating objects. These rare treasures are on display for your viewing pleasure, including Old King Cole's Merry Gold Bones, Exotic Death Masks, A Cursed Blade, and introducing the fabled Horn of Quintus taken from the deepest vaults of the Bone Horde. So that's where it ended up. Treasures of the Dead. Well, how do I steal them? Gotta be a way to open these cabinets, right? Joran, we need to get out of here fast, but first let's grab, grab some of these trinkets. Wait for me there and I'll get to the control room by the skeletal haunts, so we can disable security on these spell barriers and get out of here. With the money we could afford that house you could like that house you like in Fairport. Careful. Oh, we have to go this way to continue the tour, alright. Let's go back. Oh, this is not a noisy floor, so I wasted my moss out of there for no good reason. It looks like tile, but it's not. Right, so this guy escaped after uh, pinning someone to the wall. But uh, he didn't escape me. A control room by the skeletal haunts, huh? Uh, 
Where's the control room by the skeletal haunts? Aha. This control room. The power failure has compromised the energy spells, and some of these monsters are trying to break out. Security on the artifacts is holding strong. Too bad they didn't put as much thought into keeping these foul beasts at bay as they did to protect their precious baubles. I'm gonna make a run for it. I'll try to warn as many of the tourists as I can while I'm running past them towards the lift. Alright, that should have freed up the uh, artifacts. Now, this is worth the price of admission. Well, there we have reached our loot goal, and then some. Thanks to... It's not Miss Garrett. What do we got here? Who is the god of the underworld? One, Herman. Two, Hades. Three, Skeletor. Quiz for getting the statue. Of course I wanted it. Which artifact is the most valuable? Oh, that's a good question. Phantoms are known to wield powers of transception. Test your knowledge, answer all questions correctly, win a statuette. Win all six statuettes and win a big prize at the gift shop. Good luck. I guess that's where the 25 gold goes. Um, Fable Horn of Quintus. But it doesn't tell me which is the most valuable, right? Oh, you're not getting back up again. Uh, let's say the Horn of Quintus is the most valuable. Did we win something? Does it even work? Does, uh... Did I mess it up? If I mess that up because I guessed wrong, that would be very annoying. If it's just not working, that'll be slightly less annoying. When did I save? Oh. Right, so I can take you down. That'll do. Right, I've stolen these already. Farewell, and we shall suddenly meet again. Be sure to visit the learning centre. Um... Well... Ultimate goals. Oh, you know what? It probably wanted me to pay attention as I was picking them up as to which was most valuable. It's kind of ridiculous. Because it's not like it tells you when you pick something up how much it was worth. You have to look at the totals and, and do uh, maths in your head, which is very silly. So let's, let's quick save and try this again. So Hades. Uh, skull. And transception. Nope. Save scum. I mean, it might not work at all. But, you know. Anything is worth save scumming. It's a secret thing like this. Lady Bathory's knife can't surely have been the most valuable. Nothing. Let's try again. Doing them in order. The very first time I did it, I skipped the... Um, Skip the middle one, so maybe they have to actually be done in order. So Hades, Horn of Quintus, Conception. There we are. All right. New objectives. Optional, win all six statuettes. All right. So I'm just going to test my theory about doing it in the wrong order and then see if we can do it in the right order after getting it wrong. So that I don't need to save scum. So if I do Hades, Transception, and then Horner Quintus I did first. But then do it right. Yeah, I get the, it gets, I get the right answer anyway. So I shouldn't need to save to come out. Good, good, good. Let us continue the tour. <laughs> yeah, so their mystical uh, portal is less mystical than all that. 
Welcome to the Lost City. I am Maya, goddess of destruction and rebirth, and I will be your guide. Oh, you know, it feels a little more plant life than uh, I expected, but... Um, it is not known what cataclysm brought about the destruction of the Lost City, but even out of destruction, life begins anew. Please continue the tour to your left to get a glimpse of the creatures that have made this place their home. Kramer, huh? I saw a Crayman there. I'm happier with Crayman than with Undead. I might run into Barracks as again as well. It's a bit too light in this room. I could waste two more wood arrows, but I think I won't. Yeah, there it is. What? No! You were supposed to... Well, oh, that's not gonna work. You're supposed to fall unconscious when it knocks you out. Why did you not? Why are you cheating and not, not, not being knocked out correctly? It's not right for a Cree beast to disregard the blackjack. It is not how it should be done. Yeah, look. Well, whatever, that'll do. Some uh, petty circle strafing. Craymen, as they are called, are often found living in these ruins. Please step to your right to view these unusual and dangerous creatures. I don't see any. I want a refund. It would be very hard to sneak past as well. Getting all these lights. Thanks, how do you know anything about the last city? The elements of air, earth, fire, and water were once worshipped as deities. Living creatures comprised of these elements do in fact exist, as you'll see in the following exhibits. Right, so we get another crane man who's busy watching the exhibits. But uh, I hear fire elemental roaming around. I don't want that. Oh, bollocks. I don't think I can afford to waste these anymore. Maybe I can. Oh, is that where I saved? Well, I can actually pick up your body. That's unusual. Crayman. Actually, you know what? I can use broadheads on these fire elementals, right? I think if they make the noise they make when they die, will probably alert the Crayman, and the Crayman is actually more hazardous. It's not harder to kill, let's say. Oh, there's another one coming in already. Let's have patience, wait for the right moment. I would try knocking him out, but uh, seeing as the other one didn't respond to blackjacking, unlike normal, I'm convince this one will either. Alright, they're they're definitely angry, they're definitely on the hunt. Quite angry. 
Yeah, I forgot that um, Broadhead, I guess, um, really only works when they're not actually already... You know, angered. Yeah, that definitely got him angry. Well, maybe if I'm lucky, they'll fight each other. Well, they seem perfectly happy to coexist. I read that. Well, one water arrow and one broadhead seems like uh, reasonable. Seems reasonable. This guy will not be happy to see me though. If he sees me. But he didn't see me, so he's just going back to watch the elements, uh, the talismans. Although he's definitely still on edge. Problem solved. On display are replicas of the four fabled elemental wards. The actual value of these objects is unknown, as well as what their purpose is. Rumors exist that one of these objects was recovered in the lost city, but no item has surfaced to substantiate the news. The gallery is on the hunt for the genuine artifacts, however, and hopes to one day solve this historic mystery. Wait, you've got a whole section on the old quarter and you don't know what happened to the talismans? They were right there in front of the uh, cathedral. Opening the door to it. Ah, is that a water elemental? It's water arrows, okay. This is the fire elementals. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about wasting that fire arrow after all, but... Uh, got two more. Oh, hello, there's an upstairs. And uh, gas elementals. I guess, air elemental. Earth elemental, hello. You look fun. <laughs> so I guess I could have snuck past these people if I was paying attention and looking up. Does it give me access to anything other than... Oh yeah, okay. So... Is that the arrow stick in this? They do. So in theory, if I was desperate for another water arrow, I could uh, try to get in and out with uh, the light makes it hard. I can stick another rope arrow in. I must say the uh, can I? Apparently not. Hmm. What about a third one? Alright. <laughs> third time's the charm. Well, that was actually the second one I was climbing there. Okay. I mean, yeah, relatively safe to get uh, water elemental, right? Water. Arrow, what elemental isn't going to kill me, right? That's not, I'm not going to be able to climb, climb out of that. Those lights are placed in a very poor position for cooling this sort of thing off. Isn't this earth elemental? 
Didn't you have a moss armor here? Oh, there's a fire elementals. Ugh. Can't really climb, but okay, I can math well out. Air elemental. You know, will he hurt me or not? I don't know. I don't know how to tell. Don't know how to climb a rope, apparently. Well, that was successful. Elemental. Surely he's not gonna be happy to see me. I feel like a tiny little bit more concern about how this passage was built would uh, make it rather more approachable. Oh, why is we really close to those together? Yeah, please don't make any earthquakes while I'm getting in and out. Alright. Uh, elemental arrows acquired. Feels pretty sneaky to do so. It does feel like some of those creatures should have been a little more hostile, but maybe only fire elementals are. Maybe the rest are friendly. Friendly elementals. Hello. Salute so statues. The tomb of the Lost City's last great emperor was found deep inside the ruins. Please step to your left to behold this rare treasure, including the sarcophagus of the emperor himself. What's happened here? I don't know, but... Uh, do you have actual valuables on display rather than... Surely they should have known better than having actual valuables. Something's gone that way. Oh, it's a mummy. It's left strips of uh, bandage behind. Farewell, and thank you for visiting the Lost City. Don't forget to use the designated receptacles found along the tour to dispose of all the refuse. Learning Center. Oh, yes, another quiz. And what's our questions here? What is Maya the Goddess of Diet and Exercise? What? How many bracelets are on display in the Emperor's Tomb? Uh, good question. The elements of air, earth, fire, and water were once worshipped as deities. I should really always find these learning centers before robbing the exhibits. How many bracelets are on display? I don't know. There's a necklace. Oh, hang on. I had picked up one bracelet and I missed two more. Okay, I guess there were three. Good, good, good. Well, that's a good question because it drove me back to find more loot. Maya is the goddess of destruction and rebirth. There were three bracelets and they were worshipped as desserts or, de or deities perhaps all right that's two out of six statuettes well you know this place isn't so bad after all keepers keepers You know about the keepers. Welcome to the mysterious world of the keepers. I am Minerva, goddess of wisdom, and I will be your guide. You really shouldn't know anything about the keepers. I do hear something groaning around. Hungry, please step to your right and enjoy the sumptuous fare served at our own keepers library and grill. Or continue the tour to your left. Be sure to visit the Master's Library for some Keeper-style adventure. Grill sounds like a good idea. Yeah, or maybe not. What? some unpleasant noises.
So the Emperor. Rest in peace. Oh, I'm still hearing zombie sounds. So it's not bad well. That's three, three whole fire arrows. Hmm. This exhibit is haunted. You would think they'd believe me, given all the creeps they keep in this place, human and otherwise. I'm requesting a transfer to the Pagans. They have better after parties than last week. I heard they activated the blessing pool and went skinny dipping. I can't access the toilets. Don't know, I can maybe access the kitchens. To all kitchen staff, due to a recent decline in our food stores, namely the cooking sherry, the main kitchen area will be locked at closing time. The Pagan Exhibit is throwing a toga party next week after hours. See you there, and remember, BYOB means bring your own, not the galleries. Guess the wine or the kitchen is off limits. The pantry, on the other hand, has uh, some valuables in it. Alright, well that's it for the the grill. The oldie keeper grill. Uh, so I guess we continue on to the actual keeper exhibit. But not just now, because this is a very good place to end the episode. So thanks very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me for some more morbid curiosity in the next episode soon.